Mm-hmm. A warm welcome to the English session of today. Good morning, students. Good afternoon, actually, it is. Ah, right. You are doing fine. Right. Listening to the online classes. How do you feel to sit at home, feeling both children? Always sitting at home and uh, the government has asked us not to come out of the home. That is safe, they are saying. That is true only, right? Though it is a little difficult, especially boys find it very difficult to sit at home. And uh, what to do, children? Nothing else to do. So we have to abide the rules of that government to get rid of this uh, virus. It is a great problem nowadays to us and even in our neighboring houses you might have heard people dying of this corona, young people, old people, those who are in services, uh, everybody. This um, so really, when we think about it, you know, we feel really very bad because so many people who are familiar to us, well known to us, has good acquaintance with us. Uh, we heard that we, they are passing away, but we cannot even go and uh, just attend the funeral services even. That is the situation. When we think of this, you know, we cannot go and uh, just uh, look at them once. So when you think of this, I really feel very bad, very heavy in my heart when I think about uh, all these things. So what to do? So. To avoid all these things, be safe at home. Where you are getting that virus from, nobody knows. So, be at home. Obey your parents. Obey the advice of the, uh, given by that uh, government. Watch, uh, even if it is a little difficult, stay at home. Read something. Just engage yourself in some work. Right? Reading. Some will be interested in reading. So, making some things... Uh, and that craft works, drawing, painting, um, something like that. Just cleaning, helping your parents to clean the home. Just something like that, you engage yourself to get rid of this boredom and uh, say stay, say, say, uh, stay safe and uh, prepare your lessons very well. Right? We do not know how you are going to face the examination, how the things will be. We are not, uh, we are not, uh, cannot even guess, right? See, what is the difference, I wanted to tell you, give you a, one small incident. That is, what is the difference between the successful people and the ordinary people? Thousands and thousands, millions of people are born, live, and they pass away. But few are remembered here and there. What is the difference? What makes them to land their footprints in the sands of time? Even after five or six centuries, we are still remembering people. Whereas, crows and crows of people are passing this world, world without being known to us. See, the, when we pray to God, you know, Hope you are all praying to God. When we pray, how oh, we will be praying? Oh God, protect us from everything, all the evils. We should not get into trouble at all because you are God. You have given so many promises. When we read the Bible, when we read the Quran, when we read the Bhagavad Gita, we are getting all these promises. So please God, protect us from all the pitfalls. This is how we pray. How the successful people pray, you know, they will pray that um, you must, uh, God must give us strength, courage to overcome the difficulties. They will never pray that we should never get troubles in our life. That is what make you different from the ordinary so when you pray, how you have to pray? See difficulties, diseases, deaths, 
pitfalls, unexpected things happens in our life. That is quite natural. It is inevitable. We cannot do anything. So you must pray to God to give strength to you to face all these things in a proper way, in a successful way, which will that is which will make you really a great person in future. So don't pray to God from today onwards that oh don't give me this, don't give me that, oh give me this, give me this, that this. I want this, don't give me that. No, that is not. That is the difference between uh, successful people and uh, ordinary people. So, in our life, you know, these obstacles are very common. There is uh, very obstacles are there. If you analyze the life of people, great people, great personalities, obstacles are there. But you must pray to God to give you strength, courage and willpower to face the difficulties, to overcome the difficulties, to take the things in the positive way and get success in your life. Right? Right. In most of our problems, our family members, our neighbors, our teachers will be helping us to overcome the obstacles sometimes. Right? Teachers will be helping you. Uh, school will be helping you, your my neighbors will be helping, your relations will be helping, your parents will be helping to overcome the difficulties. Right? If you just um, see the life of us, be behind the success of your life, there will be somebody. There is a child. This child went to school. And these uh, teachers were teaching classes, teaching lessons to the child. Not only to this particular child, to the students who are there in the class. But this particular child used to ask very many questions to the teachers who were teaching. So, all the teachers, you know, one by one, just made a complaint to the headmaster saying that, we have to send this boy away from the school. It is very difficult for me to control the child. He is unnecessarily uh, troubling the class, disturbing the class. Maybe the teacher has no answer for the question of that particular boy. One day, you know, the headmaster called that particular boy. And he wrote a letter to his mother, parents, and uh, it is in an envelope. It is written in an envelope and that uh, letter is given to that particular boy and the headmaster said that you go and hand over this letter to your parents, mother. And this particular boy took the letter without knowing what it is and he went home and handed it over to the mother. This uh, mother opened that letter and she read the letter. And when she reads the letter, tears well down from her cheeks. What is being written in the letter, the child doesn't know. But the mother said, see you need not go to school from tomorrow. I will teach you. And when she said that, she was crying like anything. So, the next day onwards, the mother taught the child at home. The child also doesn't know why he is being asked to stay at home. Whether it is asked by the school or whether the mother is uh, asking him to be at home. Maybe she has no money to pay the fees or something like that. The child did not investigate that. But the mother has a heavy heart and she started teaching the child. And um, she found out what is the capability, what is the innate quality, talent of the child. And she trained the child to bring out the talent from him. And this boy obeyed the mother and she, he was grown up and he completed his studies and uh, there is no schooling, no certificate, nothing. 
and he became a great scientist. He became a great scientist. You know what is the name of this great scientist? Albert Einstein. A person who contributed very many things to the world. More than 3000 contributions he has given to the world. One day, you know, this particular boy, after he becoming a scientist, he just opened the drawer, table, cupboard, drawer. He just opened and found out a letter there. And he took it. And it is being written there in the letter that son is good for nothing. He is not at all obedient. Disturbing the class. Useless boy. Always his plan is to trouble the teachers. So from tomorrow onwards, you must not send your child to school. Your child will never get well in his life. He will never prosper in his life. Good for nothing he is. He is not at all good for anything. So this is what is being written in the letter. Who is reading it? Albert Einstein. And moreover, it is written in the letter that hereafter we cannot teach a child like yours. So, from tomorrow onwards, you don't send your child to school. This is what is being written in the letter which Albert Einstein found out after he became a great scientist. See, there is no school education for him. It is prohibited. Maybe he must have asked certain questions which is relevant, which he wanted to get cleared off. The teachers may not be able to clarify his doubts, maybe. But they felt that the child is naughty and he is good for nothing and he is not, uh, not to be made to sit in the if he goes away, it will not be a trouble for the teachers. That's what they felt. But you know, Albert Einstein, even though he doesn't got the doesn't get the privilege of the school education, he broke that he broke that obstacle with the help of his mother, and and became the great eminent scientist of the. But so what you learn from this incident sometimes you know in our, in our classes also there are some students who will be very naughty very naughty at times disturbing the class but you should never think that he is good for them I told you already that we are talented people capabilities we have unique personalities we are so the thing, the problem is we have to find out their innate capability and bring them up in life. Like Albert Einstein's mother does. Right? right. So children, you also have some capabilities in you. Talents in you. You are not like your neighbor. You are not like your friend. He may mug up and uh, finish it off within one or two seconds. But you will take hours to finish off two on three more questions. Maybe. That doesn't matter. Find out your talent and break the obstacles and ask God to give strength and courage to overcome the difficulties, obstacles that you come across in your life to reach the zenith in your life. Hope you understand. Right. Can you? There is nothing called impossible. There is a saying, impossible is a word found in the dictionary of fools. Impossible is a word which is found in the dictionary of fools. Only fools will say that it is not possible. We are not fools. We are talented people. God's gifts is with us. He has gifted us. So make use of the talents and take away, take the challenges of our daily life and come up in Right? Once this Albert Einstein, I wanted to tell you one small incident from his life. Once he was, um, 
asked to give, he presented some, uh, he wrote uh, some paper, very famous scientist he is. He wrote um, one paper and he is supposed to present that paper to the great uh, educated people, great personalities. And he was uh, presenting that paper to one area, one city, where the people doesn't know the language of Alfred Einstein. There is some problem. Maybe he is uh, speaking in English, but the people may not know English. But you know, while he was delivering the speech, one was sitting like a statue, looking keenly at what he says. And um, after three hours speech, he went away from that place. But he has a guilty consciousness that, see, I have just uh, killed them like anything because their language is something different from mine. I have talked for three hours. Oh, they tolerated me. This guilty consciousness was there in his mind. So, the next day, he is asked to speak in some other place, some other city. There also the people doesn't know the language. So what Albert Einstein thought is, yesterday I have done a great blunder. Today I must stop the talk within two and a half hours. So the next day he started his speech and he just uh, presented that paper um, to the public and uh, within two and a half hours he completed his speech. After completing his speech, all the people rushed towards him and asked him, See, yesterday you have been giving a speech there for three hours. But today, to us, you talk only for two and a half hours. Why you have done like this? Is it right on your part to finish off with that speech within two and a half hours? The same speech you have taken three hours there. What do you understand from him? <coughs> See that people may not, uh, they do not know the language. Even then, they were listening to him very curiously. That, uh, that type of uh, eloquent speaker, he is a scientist, great renowned scientist. Once, you know, the press people asked him to give a Mm, formula for success in life. Give a mathematical formula for success in life. You are very familiar with formulas because in maths you might have So Albert Einstein, you know, what he said is A is equal to X plus Y plus Z. This is the, this is the formula which is given by Albert Einstein to the people who asked the formula for success in life. Where he said, A is success in life. X is hard work. Y is play. Z is keeping the mouth shut. Keeping the mouth shut. So success in life is hard work, play, unnecessary places. It is better to keep quiet. There is a saying, silence is the best answer for all stupid questions. Silence is the best answer for all stupid questions. So in so stupid areas, be quiet. That is his formula for success in life. Mathematical formula for success in life. Now let us come to this to today's class. Right. So then summary writing, note making, responding the advertisement you have studied. Now I thought of teaching you some on grammar. Don't. Uh, it is also not. Uh, I'm. I'm teaching. Already you have learned. I'm revising. That's all. It is not a new portion for. It is an already taught thing, very thoroughly by 
all the personalities of 10th standard monica rajesh and uh, praveen sir joel sir all these people taught you very well you are very thorough with it but one small revision i will finish right grammar that is sentence part these are the things that we can learn without the textbook right that is why i have selected that too from simple to complex we are moving so uh, here we will get one one mark question they will give you one sentence and ask you to find out the pattern of it or they will ask you to write a sentence in the given pattern you have to write it right now before that what is the sentence what is the sentence given this you have learned already what is a sentence sentence is a group of words that gives us a complete sense a group of words that gives us a complete sense is called a sentence right in a sentence tell tell me in a sentence ramu goes to school it is a group of words which gives us a complete sense that he goes to school you are getting an idea of it right here is a group of words which gives a complete sense now in a sentence each and every word has a function for example if you take ramu it is a noun if you take goes it is a verb if you take uh, to it is a um, preposition if you take school again it is a noun so that we call as parts of speech so in english when you write a sentence there is a, each and every word comes under one part of speech that is the parts of speech in english are noun pronoun verb adjective adverb preposition conjunction interjection all these things right noun verb adjective adverb pronoun preposition conjunction interjection so among this you will we get that is uh, the word the sentence each and every word will come under any one of this eight parts of speech are eight eight parts of speech are just vaguely i will just touch what it is and we will go to the sentence part what is that noun noun is the name of a person place or a thing rama chair <coughs> school building these are all nouns now what is a verb verb is the action denoting word run jump skip hop walk sleep write so the word which denotes an action this is all you have learned just i will touch here and there to make you revise it recollect it to your mind right noun verb adjective is a word that qualifies a qualifies a noun adjective is a word that qualifies a noun for example he adjective he bought a blue shirt he bought a blue shirt see shirt is a noun that blue says something more about the shirt the color of it so it is an it is qualifying the noun shirt so it is called an adjective a word that qualifies a noun right adjective then adverb what is adverb
adverb is a word that qualifies the verb meaning of the verb example she walks fast it is a verb it says something more about the verb walks how she walks fast very quickly so noun verb adjective and the remaining we will see in the next class okay children if you have any doubt in the in the reaction session please clear it off and uh, i don't know how far you have been successful in this all these things we will just talk in that uh, interaction session mostly it is uh, mainly it is for you people to speak out to get to know your things your doubts cleared okay children right stay stay safe at home be good obedient to your parents and uh, prepare your lessons thank you children.